and then healthcare. Like, did you see? Did you see the thing I posted a couple of weeks ago about this bill we got from when my Jill was with the, our middle son in San Diego visiting a friend, and he was sick, so she had to take him to an ER. Right? Like, we don't. Our doctor's not there. Right? Obviously, we live here, so they did like regular chemistry lab on him. That's like about a twelve dollar blood test, and gave him like I don't know two hundred and fifty to five hundred cc of IV fluid. That was it. That was it. What do you think the bill was? Twelve hundred dollars. I don't remember it because I'd have to look at the post I put up. I think the bill was six thousand, of which we owed two thousand. That's insane. That's in, that's problematic. That's a real problem. Yeah, it might have yeah. been more than that. Six thousand dollar bill. Our insurance somehow picked up maybe thirty five hundred. We were stuck with twenty five hundred. Now juxtapose that with the following fact: fewer than fifty percent of Americans today, if given twenty four hours, can produce twenty five hundred dollars in cash. Jesus Christ. So when we say healthcare is the leading cause of personal bankruptcy, it's the first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Cause. Like there's no, nothing else matters besides healthcare when it comes to personal bankruptcy. I mean, this, this does infuriate me to no end. Like I, I sometimes think like, is there any other problem I would ever be interested to devoting my full attention to besides the problem I work on now? That's the only other problem that would tempt me. In, you know what's interesting too? If that problem was really tackled by by our government and they did it in an efficient way, one of the ways they would have to do it, one of the ways they would have to address it in order to be efficient would be to encourage people to become metabolically healthy. Of which course. We have zero encouragement. Zero. In fact, there's, there's actually the opposite. There's, there's encouragement for people to have body positivity and uh, to not be fat phobic and to uh, not fat shame, you know, and if, and, and there's zero discussion about healthy diets and vitamin supplementation and the benefits of that. If we, if, if they just did, like imagine if the government was responsible for our health care. And they realize, hey, guys, 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 like, we got a real problem here. We're spending too much money and we're losing money because what if they're, the amount of money that they made was dependent upon the percentage of money that was spent on health care? Like imagine if politicians, if their salary <laughs> depended on the – like. See, but I fear that surplus. that would still get screwed up because then they would just cut costs, right? Like I, I feel like – What if that wasn't an option though? What if well, like, the problem is like we have to cut, we have to we have to cut costs. This is the problem, right? We're spending, we're probably up to ten thousand dollars per capita, um, which is I mean we're actually probably more than that. We're probably twelve thousand dollars, fourteen thousand dollars per capita. So we're at two to five x every other developed nation and what we spend on healthcare. But why? And we get worse outcomes. Okay, so the big reason comes down to made up numbers. Look at my ER example. The, the blood test cost, the actual cost of ordering that blood test is $12. The bag of IV fluid is probably $38. So why do they inflate the cost so much? It's because they play a shell game with the insurance company. So they say, we negotiate different rates with different insurance companies. And we're going we're gonna to build up the price enormously, but we're going to offer you a really big discount. And we're going to make you our preferred network. We're going to be your preferred network. And there's a, you know, a quid pro quo here, which is the price is enormous, but you don't actually have to pay that much. We're going to discount it to you. But if somebody comes in out of network, which we were, right, we were out of network because, you know, we're probably our network is optimized around being in Austin and not in San Diego, um, you're going to get screwed. And of course, if you don't have insurance, forget about it. You're paying the fake money price. Especially if there's a real injury. Oh, yeah. A real injury, you need surgery, and you're not insured. Oh, my God. 